Hooray! The Equinox expansion notes are out. New patch notes. And they're long. What in the Sam hell is this? This is Bill. Bill wants to build a Cinnaball and join the Angel Cartel cause in Zarzak, but he's not making it easy on himself. Okay. <laughs> Emergency video blog update. The long and short of it is the new Equinox expansion is coming out on June 11th and it changes so much in this game. So much cool new stuff is being added, but the Cruzak challenge has caught a little bit of collateral damage here. The build cost for the Cinnaball and all other pirate cruisers is being changed in the new expansion. The most critical thing that's happening is that the Neuralink conduits are being removed entirely from the Cinnaball build costs and in their place will be a new component called the Net Resonator. Now removing the Neuralink conduits actually has a huge impact on the overall build costs of the Cinnaball. All of the gas and all of the molecular condensers that we needed was due to these Neuralink conduits. And the reactions that were required to build up to the Neuralink conduits were the only reasons that we needed nitrogen and helium fuel blocks. So the ice costs have also been dramatically reduced, as well as some of the PI costs. The Neuralink conduits were also the reason why we needed over 2,000 hydrocarbons and atmospheric gases. We still need hydrocarbons and atmospheric gases. The moon goo has not gone away, but the amount we need has been reduced all the way down to 100. Our need for silicates and evaporite deposits has also been reduced down to 100, but we only needed a couple of hundred of them anyways. The overall ISK cost has also been reduced significantly. Because of the 540 million ISK we needed to save to buy all of our reaction formula and BPOs, over 200 million of that was reaction formulas specifically related to the Neuralink conduits. That's a lot of stuff that we've already collected that after June 11th we will no longer need to build a Cinnaball. And we also will need to source these new net resonators, which the patch notes say will be available from the Angel Cartel loyalty point stores. So we're going to have to get some more Angel Cartel loyalty points. So the big question is, what does this mean for the Corvette to Cinnaball bootstrap challenge? I'm not going to be able to rush through building the Cinnaball before June 11th. I did think about it. But I'm not sure it's even technically possible, given all of the timelines involved and the reaction steps and the BPO manufacturing before I can put a Cinnaball in the oven. And even if it were technically possible, the stress of trying to get it all in before that deadline would just kill me. So what I am going to do is I am going to keep that original materials list as a goal. We're still going to collect everything that was needed to build a Cinnaball when we started this run. The vast majority of it is still needed. But what I will also do is I will still build a Cinnaball under the new manufacturing requirements. So whatever the LP cost is of these net resonators, we're going for it. The one allowance that I think I might make myself in terms of the new reduced costs is I don't think I'm going to force myself to buy all of those reaction formulas that we no longer need. That will reduce my ISK grind by a bit, and that is just so welcome and so inconsequential to the shape of the challenge that I'm not gonna feel bad about it. So that's it. We are still building a Cinnaball and we are still gonna go get all the things we originally planned to get. Just the final actual build process is going to look a little different than what we'd anticipated. I hope this doesn't come as too rude of a surprise. I hope it doesn't reduce anyone's enthusiasm for the challenge. It certainly hasn't reduced mine and I will say these changes to the pirate ship costs is actually unambiguously a great change for the game. The market price of these ships can be expected to go down by quite a bit, which means we'll see more fun ships like the Cinnaballs, the Dromiels, the Vigilants, the Ashamus in space, which is fantastic. I really look forward to it. It's only a bit of a shame that the timing of these very welcome changes have caught my specific video series as a bit of a curveball, but we will adapt we will soldier on, and we will have an absolute blast doing it. I'll talk a little bit more about these changes in the actual videos that make up the series itself, 
but you should know that I've already recorded the next couple of videos, so the in-stream discussion of these material changes will come a few weeks down the line. I am really looking forward to sharing the next couple of episodes with you, by the way. There's some really fun and unexpected content in there. The next video should be going up this weekend, so join me there.